Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and today I want to introduce you to the latest airport released for Germany which is the new Simwing Munich. Now you guys know that I'm not the typical guy to, do, to show you nice cinematic pictures but I want to show you the airport as you're going to see it live in action. The best thing here, if you own Simwing's Munich version 1, then you're entitled to a free upgrade to version 2. All right, why don't you join me in the cockpit for our arrival? 500, continue. 400. 100 above. 200. Minimum. Continue. 100 50 40 30 20 retard Reverse green diesel spoilers Seventy knots Brakes. Welcome to the new Munich, everyone. So, I surely hope you enjoyed this landing. If you didn't notice it, spool back a couple of seconds and just notice how the glide slope was actually in line with the puppy, something that I really appreciate seeing. At least it was so until the last hundred feet or so, but you get where this is going. So, we've just about vacated on the second high speed turnoff, which is Bravo 6, and our taxi is going to lead us via Bravo uh, 8, actually. Sierra, Sierra 7, gate 220. And while we're taxiing in, we want to explore a little bit of the brand new airport scenery. So, there's a couple of differences there. It is based on the old one, but for example, in the real Munich, they updated a couple of the taxiway names and stuff like that and that is all reflected in the new version of the scenery so first things first though we are going to vacate that runway and we'll get it onto tracks by sierra in order to clear the runway for any upcoming traffic so now we're on that we're on the main taxiway let's quickly have a look around to the area and yes, I am aware, I still have to clean this one. So, what do we see then? Well, overall, I'm under the impression that the taxiways do look a bit better than they did previously. However, there is no noticeable frame rate impact coming from that. Now, I generally have to say that Munich is one of the best performing sceneries that I ever found in my simulator, at least when we take into consideration only the big airports. I really have to say that compared to all the others, Munich is performing very, very well. And that was the case even before I got my RTX 4090. Now, let's have a look into one of the standard procedures here. As you can see, we are flying Lufthansa. And Lufthansa is obviously parking on apron number two. Now, on apron two, there have been quite some renamings of the taxiways here in order to align them with apron number one. So if you compare the two charts, you now have Whiskey 1 and then Echo 1. And on Apron 2, you have Whiskey 2 and Echo 2. So they are quite aligned over here. And previously, this one was called Oscar 2. That should have been updated with this version of the scenery. Right, as we go along then. Something that you may notice happening from time to time here is that my graphics are glitching a tiny bit. That is because of the frame rate generation of the RTX 4090 and that's got nothing to do with the scenery. Right then, uh, Bravo 12 West. That one was featured in the previous version of the scenery but there were some incorrect taxi signs here that could lead to quite a bit of confusion. But this one is looking well now. CR7 is correctly identified. Let's go in here into the entrance over those famous bridges and as we're coming in 
you are going to notice some of the uh, differences now. So I'm going to stop the airplane here for a second. And here you can see one of the differences coming up. You now got the correct signage for Taxiway Echo 2 over here, which previously was called Oscar 2, so that's been updated. Now, what's new as well is that the terminal interiors are looking quite a bit better than they did in the previous version. I'm going to show you that now. We have already prepared GSX for our gate number 220. In case you didn't know, you can actually tell GSX to spawn while you're in the air already, which is what I did for the recording of this video. In the meantime, just take in the textures we have on the apron over here. On the first time where I flew to the real Munich airport, I was really stunned how, well, uniform everything looked over here. And they represented that in the scenery actually quite well. I totally get that some of you might be a little bit unhappy about how uniform things look like now, but this is actually exactly what my impression was when I flew to the real Munich for the first time. And that's been quite a couple of years back, so I'm not sure if everything is still looking as tidy as it used to back then, but I would probably imagine so. Right, we're getting a martial art today, no guidance system, even though it is simulated with scenery. But the martial art is always going to take precedence, and here we are. So, park and brake set, APU is available, let's go ahead and shut it down. And when that is done, we can head over into the terminal and just take in a couple more impressions over there. The jetways, as always, done really nicely over some wings with the um, interior of the jetways. And now let's go ahead and go up the stairwell and make our way into the terminal. Now, unfortunately, those doors here aren't modeled, but when we walk just about through them, this is where we get to. Now, your first impression is probably going to be, well, this is by far not as detailed as some other airports are. And that is totally true. However, just think back a little bit into what you can actually see from the terminal interior from your aircraft down there. And then, you, then you'll quickly get why they didn't model the terminal as detailed and why the performance of this airport is so good. So this is what the terminal interior looks like here in Munich. And, well, the textures aren't quite as crisp, however, lo looking from the aircraft, they're looking quite good. What is a little bit funny over here is that apparently every single gate today is going to dispatch towards Tokyo Haneda as Lufthansa 4356. So, going to Haneda, 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 and if we walk along to the next gate, we will also go towards Haneda. As you can see over here. Now certainly this isn't an airport interior simulator. If you want to do those fancy walks to the gate like I did in JFK or in Newark, then this is not going to be for you. However, looking from the pilot's perspective and looking from the ramp, things are looking really good over here. Talking about the ramp, why don't we just about head down a little bit and have a look what it looks like during the walk around. And this is what it looks like down here from the outside. Now, textures looking all right. And this is what I talked about earlier regarding the buildings. If you look into them from any position where you would reasonably be during your flights in the sim, then you would most certainly get to see everything you need to see. While at the same point, there are a couple of... Um, I don't want to call it shortcomings, but a couple of uh, frame rate savers visible, like here the Lufthansa logos are, um, well, they could be a little bit more round. But then again, the frame rate I get in this airport is absolutely stunning. And there are also some nice details over here, like if you look at this uh, little fence up here. So overall, in my opinion, a very good mix here. And I am definitely going to do a little bit more flying into Munich over the next couple of days. Now that we've seen what the airport looks up close up, I want to show you another great difference. And that is just about what we see over here. You will notice that all of the gates over here are basically gone. And that is not a bug. It is indeed a feature. So let's load up a flight to see what it looks like over there right now. 
And this is what it looks like from right within the simulator. As you can see, the new terminal building construction site at T1 is included in the scenery as well, just like new buildings at the Northwestern Business Park. But why don't we just about head out and have a look at what that actually looks like right within our simulator. So this is the new terminal construction site, which previously used to be the gates um, 109, uh, 101 to 109, if I'm not mistaken. You can still see the remains of them right over here, but this at the moment is all a construction site. And this is um, replicated inside the simulator right now, so those are actually not usable at the moment. Also nice to see a little bit of equipment over here. Now, personally, I find there could be a little bit more equipment because this is still, well, let's put it that way. If they have about that much equipment in use at the construction site of the new Berlin airport, then I know for sure why it took so long. But this is what it looked like from the inside right now. Everything's still under construction. Nothing here quite yet. But, as you can see, that is actually quite a nice um, work that they've done over here. So the airport is now at pretty much its latest state. Also note the colored lines of the taxiways over here, something that I find is really not used enough in flight simulation because those colored lines are actually really used quite a bit. Even though this looks a little bit interesting over there, but uh, well, we'll see about it. I'm going to ask the developer, so that's a bug. In any case, that is what it looks like over here on the old apron one right now. As you can see, loads of changes here to the airport and indeed quite a bit too many to just about cover them all. However, I do believe that by now you have gotten a good impression of what the airport looks like in action. So. With all of that, I would say let's head over to the one perspective that I know you guys definitely love. So I'm gonna see you right over there. And of course, what else but this one could it be? All right, simply enjoy this one. I'm gonna stop talking now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the new Munich version two, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.